yes moving to canada i have had a lot of questions from my friends inbox email whatsapp messages and they are asking me hey cool show us the way what is the way connect us to the connecting man or the connection man how did you do it who helped you can you give us his contact can we talk to him in this video i'm going to tell you who to talk to who is really the connection man echo, echo, echo city. yes back to the issue um who is the connection man but before that in every community in area you find a playground for the kids wherever you are so it gives you the parents the opportunity to send your kids to this playground and just play you know while away time you know relax your mind and then do a lot of things now when you want to come to canada there are a lot of ways one can use to come to canada i am fresh i, I am a traveler i've been to about um eight countries if i'm gonna add canada to it i've been to kenya um, togo benin um, rwanda ethiopia i've been to dubai as well and uh, some other countries i think about eight of them now moving to a country like canada there are different ways one can move to canada the typical one is through school where you apply to a college or a university to enroll in a school. And then from sources, what I have read, listen, from what I have read, the information that I've gathered is that after school, you'll be given, I think, a year or two for, for you to work. And then after three years, you might ap uh, apply to get a, a permanent residence or something. That doesn't make you a citizen, I guess. It's just a permanent a uh, resident permit that allows you to be here and to work and all that some people also come through visitor visa like me this is how i go here my family i have a family who lives in canada so at a point we had a discussion and then they say hey come and look at canada i know you've been traveling you've been going far and wide but you've never been to the western world that you love you know you know as a pan-african i would love to travel within africa but he was like come and have a try you might like it so i was like okay what is the process so the process was before i go through the process now a connection man is someone who has taken time to read and to learn and to get all the information that one needs. Oh, sorry, how you doing? The information that one needs to work on a specific project. In so doing, I went online. I went to the Canada immigration website, IRCC, and then I read all the documents, all the requirements that one will need to visit Canada. Now, if I do this and I get all this information, I become a connection man. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So there is nothing like a connection man. A connection man is one person who has decided to learn, to, to, to get all the information concerning something, anything. Why is it that when you use a connection man, you don't easily get the visa? Why is it that when you use a connection man, you have to pay a lot. Now let's continue. Yes, so a connection man has really taken his time to go through the information, gather all the information that uh, that is needed to apply for a visa. Let's say we're talking about visa. And uh, he would come to you and say, if you want to travel, I can help you. In the Western world, unlike Ghana or Africa, where there are, you know, ways and means one can use to do other things here, the system doesn't work like that. You have to go through the necessary things. You understand? So apart from school, apart from being a, a visitor visa, 
or applying for um, maybe health issues, you want to come to the hospital or the, for a surgery or something, or uh, you want to join your spouse. Maybe you have you are married, you have your uh, spouse living here, you want to come join your spouse. There are a lot of ways, but this is what I use. I came with a visitor visa. So this is how I got it. I had an invitation from my family uh, that stated that, hey, we are inviting Echo to come to Canada uh, for a number of days or a number of weeks. That was it. Okay, my bus is in. Okay. My bus is in. I'm going to downtown Calgary. So when I get there, I'll continue this. Depending on the kind of visa that you're coming to Canada with, that will determine the documents that you need to provide. So I came as a visitor, so I had to provide uh, an invitation letter that was sent to me from my family in Canada. Uh, I also brought, um, I had to prepare myself. So I had to get my bank statements to show that, yes, I can take care of myself when I'm here. I had to add if I was married, I had to add my marriage certificate. I had to add, um, get an introductory letter from my workplace in Ghana. I had to, um, if I if I had any property, I had to add all the documents to it, and I did. And then, um, what else did I add? Um, yes, they also added. They wanted to know if I have a travel experience, so I was asked to put in all the places that I've traveled for the past five years. So I had to put in the Togo, the, 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 the Dubai, the, the, the Kenya, the Rwanda. I had to put all of them, the, the date, the exact date, and then the stamps that are in my passport. So I wouldn't say some, these are some of the things that really got me the visa, but these are the things that they need and you have to provide them. So basically, you need to provide the things that they ask you if you are applying for a visa in Canada. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so I'm back to University of Calgary to meet my brother again. So like I was saying, so after um, scanning and then sending all these documents to IRCC website, now is their turn to uh, investigate your um, application, go through your application. And then I think after a week or two, you'll be sent a message an email to go to um, VFS Canada to go do take your foot your your passport picture and then do your fingerprint the biometrics and then that is it so if you want to come to Canada like I did through a visitor visa you will need whoever is inviting you to Canada to give you an invitation letter that is one and then um, the rest of the things that you need to provide you would have to provide it which is the bank statement, any document stating that you would come back to Ghana. That is what we call, uh, I think it's called ties. Something that would tie you to um, let you return to Ghana because they know people want to travel and they don't want to come back. So uh, what is it that is going to make you come back? So if you're married, you, you, you state it with your marriage certificate, you have kids, you have this. Uh, if you have a property, if you have a business, you can also add the business uh, document to, to state that this brother is gonna is, is is gonna come back after staying there. So, the brothers and sisters in Africa who are asking if there is a connection man that uh, got us a visa to come to Canada, there is no visa uh, connection. There was no connection man. And this is what I want to tell my brothers and sisters out there. A lot of people are learning, getting the information there to sell it out to you and say, hey, I'm a connection man, I can connect you. A connection man is supposed to get things for you easily. And the connection men that are here in Ghana or in Africa, they charge a lot and all that. But basically, my video, how I got the chance to get a visa to come to Canada. It wasn't through education. 
I came here for a, a visit, so I got a visitor visa. In that sense, I can't work. So I just came around, looked around, and see if I love the place. But so far, so good. I am loving Canada. If you want to try and come to Canada, start putting your preparations together. Okay, I learned it is not easy getting a visa coming to Canada. That is what I learned. So people ask me, how did you do it? How did... That, is, that is where they keep asking me about the connection, man. One thing that I've realized about Africans is that we don't like to learn. We don't like to read. We don't like to read. Because if you can read, you don't need any, any connection, man, to connect you to, to the embassy. No man, nobody has a connection to the Canada embassy. You just have to provide the things that you've been asked to provide. And if, through their discretion, going through your document, they feel like, okay, this brother needs a visa, they will give you the visa. So thank you very much for checking out my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. You've been educated a little bit of how you can come to Canada.